Fight week for LFA 65. Mike Frankel joined by Yusef Zalal. How you doing, sir? I am doing good. How about you? Doing well as always. Like always, man. Thank you for the time. Last time we saw you in the LFA, you took the loss. How how's things been since that fight? Since we saw you back in January. I mean, nothing changed to be honest. I'm I'm all the the same training, same everything. So I'm focused on me more than anything. So to get my mental right and all that stuff. So and that's all good. So we got ready for this fight, you know. Awesome, awesome. When you look back at that last fight, you look back at LFA 57, what do you take away from a fight that was a barn burner? It was so exciting. Uh, I got comfortable in things that I should not get comfortable at, but, I mean, that's uh, the that's, uh, lessons you learn the hard way, so, I mean, it was a great lesson for me, and I can't wait, can't wait to show it out there and, and show another barn, barn burning fight. Well, can you get to... St- could you let us know some of the specifics and things that you didn't like that you let yourself do in that fight? I mean, in general, the the main word was comfortable, to be honest. Nothing. It, it, I, I kind of just let it not be my fight, you know what I mean? It's instead of letting it be his fight, you know? And I'm, I'm the guy who really makes it my fight and kind of go from there. All right, all right. So not much has changed coming away from that one. Looking at this one against Matt Jones, has there been anything specific that you've done in preparation for Matt? Um, I mean, not not really, to be honest. The only thing that changed is uh, my diet with the 45. Is, it's uh, because I really don't have to cut that much weight, so I really was kind of being lazy about it. So I'm taking it very serious this time, so kind of... We're testing, we're testing the waters in that one. With you not cutting much weight for 45, I know a lot of guys don't, don't cut much weight. They think about putting on size or muscle. Is that something you've experienced with in between camps? Uh, I, that's, typically, I say the same usually. I, uh, nothing compare nothing, but I usually stay the same. Uh, this, this time was a little heavier because I... I wanted to stay a little heavy, so that was good. But besides that, this time I really just have to cut weight. That's about it. And now going back to Vail, once again, you fought there, or you were there already, and it's the highest elevation. What do you think of that challenge, or do you think it's a myth, being there competing fight night at the event, the highest elevation possible? I like the elevation, man. I don't know. I don't know why. I love it. I feel good, great down there, to be honest. So, do you think that's going to be an advantage for you? The the way you embrace it, the way you do like to compete at at a high altitude. I mean, yes and no. To be honest, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're fighting me, you better be ready for 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 your cardio. Uh, I will test your cardio. And what is it about your your style you think that that presses guys so much that it's your nonstop pace? Yes, sir. And what have you been doing to even to more perfect your style to 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 be able to put it on guys more? What what have been some of the big keys for you lately? Uh, to be honest, to just to really focus on it and just get just get comfortable, not comfortable, but the uh, Kind of just get, uh, like, almost, I don't know how to say it. It's more just relax a little bit, but still fighting, you know. I'm, I'm still in there to fight. I'm not there to, to kind of get comfortable, you know. I'm, I'm there to, to end you early. That's, that's, that's what I'm here for. Had you ever kind of felt that way in a fight or uh, in competition before? Or did it take you kind of... By surprise that that's how you felt fight night. No, it happened before. I mean, uh, in fight night, there's some fights that I was they had trigger, but I still won the fight and still finished the fight. But in some fights, I really just pulled the trigger and it worked as well. So it's kind of my uh, finding the balance of fighting. That's why they say you know, when you 
you're young, you're young, you know, you learn and, and, and go on from there. Is there anything specifically that you and the coaches have talked about then so that you, I don't know if it's more in the moment or more uncomfortable, but so that you don't have that same feeling this fight night around? Now, wait, he does now, wait, really, this is this is leading up, uh, doing my thing. You know, that's all about it. That's all it is. It's 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 a learning experience. It's it's nothing different. It's it's the fight game. You know, you win some, you learn some. There's nothing changes. And I know, in between that fight and now, you had been expected to compete, didn't you? Yes, sir. March twenty third. And that fell apart. Yeah. So is that? You were already in camp. How close was it to fight time when you found out that one wasn't going to happen? A week. Till fight, uh, till the fight. So at this point, you sit now, really having had back to back camps. I mean, if you look at if you look at my fights, I'm always back to back, no matter what. But it, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of glad that that fight didn't happen. We need to focus on this fight. So sometimes it was a blessing in disguise. Yes, sir. And now, what's the biggest focus as we're looking for this year? Moving on, what are you looking at for this year? Uh, I mean, it's the same goals that I have. I mean, if you guys watch me and, and listen to all my interviews, I always have bigger goals. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to do bigger things. But the only thing changed, man, it's, it's only my mentality just a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm, I'm almost ready to, Go out there and, and fight instead of just. I know I'm creative. I know I'm this and that, but I'm I'm going in there just to. I'm I'm there to kill you. You know what I mean? Uh, from now on, it's not like oh, I'll drag you. I'm still gonna use my style, but in the end of the day, I'm trying to end this as soon as possible. So, are we talking a little angrier, you stuff, Zalel, or maybe it'd be better to say a little just more efficient is what we're looking at. Um, uh, more smarter, you said. And all around, has this this been a uh, full mentality change that even, like, have the coaches noticed it? Has it been something felt throughout camp? Yeah, 100%. And was this something that you had really cognizantly made an effort to change? Yes, sir. This camp. And what has it taken to, uh, to, to reach this, to make these changes? Just being real with yourself, you know, it's, it's can't, you can't lie to yourself, so that's, that's all it is, man. I'm just being real with myself. Exactly, I know exactly what I did wrong, and, and I know exactly what I did right. So, I just had to make that choice, and, and I did, and I'm fixing up myself. Also, I've seen recently, I think, was there a, did the gym kind of expand or move their Factory X? No, it was just expanded, that's it. It expanded. So, how much more space are you guys working with? Double, double the space. So, as an athlete, how nice has that been? I mean, it's it's it's, it's still back, back, back gym, no matter what. So that was uh, I don't know if you uh, if you look at some pictures. I mean, they no matter what bigger space is, they just bring more people. So that was uh, that was awesome to see and, and awesome to show in the map. Awesome, awesome. So everything's been good up there and good with you, except for, well, not even except for, but just tweaking this mentality change. Yeah, not, to be honest, not really. I just kind of just explained, uh, just kind of just go down and be a real with stuff and know exactly what happened. I mean, that's, uh, that's more of mature than anything, than uh, just getting more mature and comfortable in fighting. And it's not nothing, uh, nothing different, you know, it, it just gets better on from here and here. Awesome, awesome, sir. You got fight week coming up. It's there in Colorado. What does this week look like for you? Uh, a lot of water loading. A lot of good food. Uh, I'm sure my dad is resting from now on. And looking at Matt, how much have you looked at him for this fight and how much has it been about you? Have you even... Have you even looked at him for this fight? 
Yeah, 100%. I looked at his uh, few fights, actually. It's not just one fight. I mean, it's kind of just read what, uh, what my mind see and just keep it keep it in my uh, in my head what I have to do to, to really get to that guy. You know what I mean? And where do you think is going to be the biggest or the most startling advantage that we're going to see fight night when we're watching the fight? My pace. This is my pace, how how I uh, keep on the pace. Even if they, they think they, they got me, they, they're not even close. Is there, for you, is there an importance on more of the finish or of how you perform throughout a whole effort would that which one would be a bigger focus for you overall it's never it's it's never but i mean it's always like finishes finish i mean this this business needs finishes so that that's what gets you closer but in the end of the day i i think about fighting but it really i'm i'm focused on more of me being out there but still a little have the finishing mentality instead of just letting it flow you know what i mean and with, we've talked a lot about you and about you. Who, who's been the biggest influences, though, on you recently? A lot of people, man, especially my wife. You know, my wife, my wife's been uh, really supporting, uh, very supportive of this camp, you know, and, and kind of making it a lot, a lot easier for me to, to go out there and do my job. Having that collective unit so that you don't have to worry about so much? And how, how big has that been for you? Man, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot of uh, stress free, you know, you don't have to worry about a lot of things. So that was, uh, that was very awesome to see it come in and train and, and everything is done and all that. So that was, that was peaceful, you know, it's, it's come in and just chill and just do me. Great stuff, Yusuf. I can't wait to see you in action. We'll be up there live. It's LFA 65, you guys, Vail, Colorado, Access TV. Yusef, can you tell everybody how they can follow you on social media? You guys can follow me at, at the Moroccan Devil on Instagram. My Facebook is Yusuf the Law. My Twitter is Moroccan underscore Devil. And uh, that was pretty much it. One last thing. Could you tell us where you think you win this fight? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just interested for this fight. I'm very excited for this fight. Like I said, it's, it's, it's against a really good opponent. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Awesome stuff. I'm excited to see it. Did you have anybody else that you needed to thank or shout out to? Uh, well, thank you for having me on, on the show again, man. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks to all, uh, shout out to my wife again, man. She's, uh, I can't do this without her. And shout out to all my sponsors, man. Comics from the Peanut Gallery, Factory X, Land Up Performance, Locked In, uh, Kelsey with the Massage Therapy, Treadwind, Seco, Perceptor Natural, Denver Chiropractor, Denver Sports Recovery, Northern Climate, and Atypical Designs, Cold Church. Awesome, sir. Great talking to you. Everybody, like we said, it's this Friday night, LFA 65.